Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So this video is going to be about hair removal, all about hair removal. So for anybody who does not care about removing their hair, this video is not for you. For all of us who want to be hairless from the nose down, this video is for us. <clears throat> Excuse me. been through it with hair removal in the years. I started shaving when I was a mere 12 years old. I was looking at all the other girls legs at school and they didn't have hair all over them like mine did. I remember sitting down next to my crush in science class and he pointed at my arm and went Ew! Your arm is so hairy! Basically I did what all young girls do who are too scared to ask their mum how to remove their hair. I started using my dad's razor. <laughs> I did not have any idea how to shave. Sometimes I'd use soap, but most of the time I would just use the water from the shower, would cut myself all the time, and afterwards I was always left with the most horrific razor burn of my life. I would literally shave my legs raw because every time you shave your legs, you are exfoliating them. You are taking off a layer of skin and your skin does not generate quick enough for you to be shaving every single day. But uh, I have finally started removing my hair in a way that is not leaving me with ingrown hairs. It's not leaving me with cuts. It's not leaving me with nicks. And that is laser hair removal. So I have been using the Kenzie laser hair removal device and I have been loving it so far. I am up to my fourth week of using this today. You see your final results after 12 weeks. I started seeing some results after two, but I know it's not my final results yet. I will show you guys a before and after of what my hair looked like. So as you can see, I have a lot of hairless patches on my legs, which is so exciting. The hair is also growing back slower. And most importantly, my hair is thinner. I really wanted to share with you guys my laser hair removal journey so we can go through it together. If you guys want to try out the Kenzie, they actually gave me a promo code for you guys for $50 off the Kenzie. So you can use SJT50 for $50 off the Kenzie. So that's $50 off. So it was $229 and now it's only going to be $179. I was using a different brand of laser hair removal device before, but just a little disclaimer. There was no fault in the product, but the company itself, I did not agree with some of their customer service. I only want to promote brands that I know you guys are going to absolutely love. And when Kenzie reached out to me, I know they are really great established and trusted brand. And I have actually really, really loved this laser hair removal device. Now, this video is sponsored by Kenzie, but I'm going to show you guys my honest results. In my 20 years of life, I have finally gotten the hang of hair removal and I have found what has worked for me. I had an epilator. I have chucked her out because it hurt so much. I have tried waxing terrible ingrown hairs, terrible reaction, worst pain ever. I have tried just shaving, horrible ingrown hairs, hair removal cream, which burns your skin if you leave it on for 30 seconds too long. <gasps> Am I bleeding? I've tried those sponges that you swirl around your legs and it takes off the hair. Those are sandpaper. It is literally sandpaper on a sponge. So right in the bin with that one. They're cheap for a reason. So what this is going to do for you is it basically zaps the melanin in your hair. So melanin is the color of your hair. So unfortunately, this is not going to work on darker skin tones, which is really upsetting. But unfortunately, that is just the science of it. It zaps the melanin. So if you are melanin all over, it's going to be zapping your skin and that's going to be really uncomfortable and it's not going to be able to target that hair and burn it. I'll insert a color chart up here of what skin tones work with the Kenzie. And you also want to make sure that you have dark hairs. For my blonde haired girls, this is probably not going to be the thing for you, okay? This is for light skinned dark haired girls. So I have black leg hairs. I have very dark leg hairs. I have black hair under here. I'm not shaved at the moment because I want to show you how to shave in a second. And I have black hair on my hoo-ha. 
So I basically was the perfect candidate for laser hair removal. Now this is not permanent. Laser hair removal is temporary, but it is a lot more permanent than other forms of hair removal. If you want to get your laser hair removal done in a salon, it can be like $200 or more. And you have to go back like six to eight times. I would much prefer to be able to do it myself, sit on my floor naked and just go zap myself, you know? It is 230 US dollars for the Kenzie and in your pack you will get the Kenzie itself, the cord for the Kenzie. Now the only thing is they all come with the US plug. So for my people in Australia and in other countries, Europe, UK, you are going to need to grab an adapter I just got one off of eBay, they're super cheap, and then you can use it for your own plug. With it, you get instructions on how to use the Kenzie, and you also get a copy of the skin chart guide. So here's how you use the Kenzie. First, you wanna shave, and I wanna give you guys quickly some tips of shaving that have helped me so much with my ingrown hairs, my razor burns, my everything. So I hope if any younger girls or any other older girls who don't know how to shave properly are watching this, then I can help you. I can be a big sis, okay? Or boys, boys can shave as well. Anybody watching this who wants to shave. Okay, so my tips for shaving. Really important is you want to exfoliate. I like to use these gloves. They're just exfoliating mitts. You can get them from like Kmart, Walmart. I will go in with some coconut oil or some olive oil. I will mix that olive oil and some of the soap free wash. We leather our mixture onto our arms and then we're gonna pull it taut, especially for the armpits and shave against the hair. I like to use cheap disposable men's razors. Make sure you are swapping this out though. You see that little orange bit at the top? The second that starts getting a bit crusty, chuck that out and get another one. If it is making any sort of sound, like I remember it used to make a sound when I did it, that means you're going too hard and you're not moisturized enough. You want it to glide across your skin, okay? For shaving down there, never go against. You are gonna get the worst ingrown hairs. I also recommend if you are quite long down there, then try to maybe trim the area. Pair of scissors, just make sure you wash them before you put them back in the craft closet. For any days that you are not doing the laser hair removal, you're gonna moisturize, baby, and you're gonna moisturize every single day because that is going to stop you from getting those ingrown hairs. But for the days that you were doing your IPL laser hair removal, when you get out of the shower, you're gonna dry yourself. Make sure you are very, very dry because you do not want anything on your skin. You want your skin to be completely dry and clean when you're using this, okay? That is about all the shaving tips that I'm gonna give you guys in today's video. But now after we have done our shave and we have done it very gently and carefully, we are going to get into the IPL laser hair removal. Some safety things. This is not a toy. You have to be careful with it, guys. It is shooting out a very hot beam of light. So I like to make sure that I am squeezing my eyes shut. You also want to make sure that you are not artificially tanning when you are using this and make sure you are not going out and tanning afterwards because your skin is going to be really sensitive and you can get sunburned really easily after you use this. Okay, so let's demonstrate how I use the Kenzie. I'm about to do my fourth treatment. I am all shaved and ready to go. I usually do it completely naked as well sitting on my floor like Jabba the Hutt, just doing my laser hair removal. Once we have our lovely lady plugged in, you want to press the button for like one second, one, and then it'll turn on. The stronger you have it on, the more it's going to hurt, first of all, and the more likely it is to zap your hair follicle. To make it go up, you press this button, one, two, three. Four. Okay, so now all of them are highlighted. So that means it's on level five. You want it pressed against your skin, but you don't want to like press it into your skin, if you know what I mean. It felt like a little hot zap. You may have seen me flinch a bit. Okay, so I'm pretty happy with that now. Let's get you in a different position so I can quickly show you my legs. What you want to do is you want to go up your leg in sections. So you want to make sure you're going straight up. Then once you do that section, 
you're gonna move on to the next section. What I like to do to make it go quicker on my legs is I will hold the zappy button at the front. You can take your hand off of it and it will keep on zapping. So every time it zaps, you can just move up a little bit like that and you don't have to keep on pressing it. You guys are gonna smell a little bit of a burning smell, but don't worry, that is just the smell of your hair follicle burning, which is what we want. Once you use the five on your Brazilian, it starts to hurt a little bit. I know you guys and girls are strong, you can do it. As you keep on going, you guys are gonna notice that the machine itself is gonna start getting warmer. Let it cool down a bit because the warmer it gets, the hotter the zaps are gonna be and the more they're gonna hurt. You're probably wondering, how do you do down there? So I'm obviously not going to actually show you, but what you wanna do is you're gonna wanna make sure you are pulling your skin very taut. Make sure you are not going over the same area twice when you were going down there. And I usually will just do it sitting on the floor like this. Sometimes sit with just like my legs straight out and I'll just kind of hold my skin with one hand and zap with the other and then we get to the region where the sun don't shine and that is the butt crack. So for the butt crack, I like to make sure that I am in a squat position. If you have a full length mirror, it kind of helps, but for the most part, I will just guess and kind of do some zaps around that area. I mean, I don't even know what it looks like back there, I'm not gonna lie, but yes. Okay, so now I'm gonna quickly finish off the rest of my body off of camera. Okay, so after you are done using the Kenzie, what you want to do is put on some moisturizer. You can also put some cold water onto a towel and wipe it over your legs if you're feeling a little bit irritated, a little bit warm. But I actually am pretty used to it now, so I'll just put on some moisturizer. Don't be shy with the moisturizer, guys. Just put it all over. So that is what I've been doing for my hair removal so far, guys. I am finding it so much easier to shave. I'm not getting those crazy ingrown hairs and I'm actually seeing really good results with the Kenzie so far, which is so exciting. I will insert what my hair looked like before I was using the Kenzie and my results after three weeks. So as you can see, I have a lot of hairless patches on my legs, which is so exciting. The hair is also growing back slower. I'm not getting stubble as quickly as I was before. And most importantly, my hair is thinner. So I'm seeing my hair is like a dark to light brown now where before it was black. It was like thick and black. So after 12 weeks, I am expecting to be completely hairless and I will of course update you guys when that happens. I really wanted to share with you guys my laser hair removal journey so we can go through it together. If you guys want to try out the Kenzie, they actually gave me a promo code for you guys for $50 off the Kenzie. So you can use SJT50 for $50 off the Kenzie. So that's $50 off. So it was $229 and now it's only going to be $179. If you guys do decide to try out the Kenzie, let me know how you've liked it so far. I would love to see your results. I would love to see what tips you guys have and maybe I can try them and show them next time when we do the 12 week checkup on the Kenzie. Thank you so much to Kenzie for working with me on today's video. I honestly love this product guys and I would not promote something that I did not absolutely love 100%. I hope this gave you a safe space. I hope it feels like I was just your big sister telling you my tips on how to shave because I never had that myself and I would love to be that for you guys. Make sure to like this video if you enjoyed and join our family of all shapes and sizes by clicking that subscribe button. Thank you so much for watching guys and I will see you in the next one. Mwah. We're hairless, we're hair free, hairless, we're hair free. Thank you Kenzie. Bye guys. Mm -hmm.